Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial video for Dragon Age Origins. I am Draco Angel and today's how-to is how to use retextures from one mod and make them compatible with another mod. And these retextures are for armors. I've recently ran into a few people who have started using the mod Dalish Armor Retextures by Scaramouche. Um, originally, the armors, uh, armor retextures for this mod are to be used with Entopy's loincloth fashion. But there is another mod called RLS Fashion Bazaar who also uses a um, armor types from uh, Entopy's loincloth fashion such as uh, the Talus party outfit and the Talus armor. And people are wondering how exactly you can get these armors here, like the one I have over here on the side, to be compatible with Rogueless's Fashion Bazaar. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now to start off, you're going to need to download uh, one of Scaramouche's retextures and for demonstration purposes I will I downloaded the uh, request for Draco Angel which is a blue recolor of the Talos armor as you see right here that's what we want it to look like so I already downloaded to keep you guys from having to wait and there it is and it came up in a WinRAR format so you'll need a program that can extract a WinRAR formatted file, which I use WinZip. It's free, it's easy. So I suggest just getting that if you don't wanna uh, pay money for a program. So we right click, extract here, and there it is. And there are all the retextured files. And if you open up the D file here, there's the retexture that we wanna use. Now, in order to make it compatible with uh, Rogueless's Fashion Bazaar, you have to change the name of the files. Because as you see here, these are already named, so they automatically override the original texture for the loincloth fashion. Uh, I recently did a video on how to extract resources from mods, and it just so happens that it happened uh, was the RLS Fashion Bazaar. So if you don't already know the name of the file that you want to change it to, or if you want to uh, export the resources from a mod, I would suggest at this point go and watch my last video, and it'll tell you how exactly to do all that. And as you see here, I already have all the files up and running. Now, the trick here is to find the armor that you want to retexture. And for demonstration purposes, I am going to be retexturing Rogueless's Brandle's Reach. It has the same style as the uh, Talus armor from uh, the uh, Dalish retextures. So it will work on this armor. And as you see, this one is like a dark blue in color. So we want to find that armor. And in order to do that, as I showed you before, when clicking the D file, you want to go into the resources and you'll have to go through and find the armor that you want. So if we were to click on, say, this one and bring it up, this is what the armor in game looks like. And this is definitely not the one we want. Now, if you can't figure it out by the uh, file's name, which most of the time I really can't, um, you have to click on it to make sure. And here is the Brandle's Reach. So we now know that is the file I want to use. And it's all four of these. So you go up to the D. Highlight it, copy, 
and go back into the blue talus armor retexture we downloaded and paste the new name and we go down to the n paste change the d to an n paste change the d to an s and paste and change the d to a t and there you go you just now made this armor a retexture for Roglis's Fashion Bazaar's uh, Brandle's Reach. So we go out of this folder. Now in order to make this work, you need to drop it into your override folder for Dragon Age. In order to do that, go into your Documents, Bioware, Dragon Age, Packages, Core, Override. And you just drag and drop the file in there. And there it is. It'll now give you the retexture of the blue lace armor from the Dalish retextures by Scaramouche instead of looking like the blue armor of Brandle's Reach. Uh, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, comment below and I will answer them to the best of my abilities. And have a nice day.